Now, sponsors could play a key role in the future of the current FIFA regime. We're now joined by the former Chief Marketing and Commercial Officer at Barcelona, Esteve Casada, who uh, now runs his own uh, company, Primetime Sport. A very good afternoon to you, Esteve. It's been a, a tumultuous uh, couple of, uh, what, 24 hours now at FIFA with those arrests uh, yesterday. Um, just in general terms, how difficult have these events of the, of the past 24 hours been for FIFA, do you feel? Obviously, it's been, it's been very, very difficult, but if we talk specifically about sponsors, uh, I would rather say that this is not so much linked to the sort of day-to-day -day politics activity and, mm. uh, and, and, and you know, the, the, the politics agenda and all the events that are happening. So, uh, if I were the CMO at FIFA, obviously, I would not be happy, I would be really concerned, but on the other side, I would not take any decision in, in hot because we're talking multi-year agreements that should not be changed on the basis of these cases because at the end of the day you're giving many other things to your to your sponsors. Obviously we've heard from from some of the sponsors uh, like uh, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Kia have, have come out uh, as well. Visa came out and pretty much said uh, that if Blatter remains then they would seriously consider their position. I suppose that's the strongest stance that we've heard from uh, a sponsor. How difficult is it for a sponsor sitting and watching these sort of allegations and, and especially when it's corruption involved. How difficult is it when you're sitting there and trying to decide what you're supposed to do? Yeah, I think uh, it depends on how long your contract runs for. Mm. I mean, it's not the same that this happens in the middle of a negotiation because at the end of the day, we need to keep in mind that, that these brands try to engage with consumers and consumers engage to football games, go, engage to national teams, engage to amazing uh, show in the World Cup. So many of them will not even realize if McDonald's is a, is a FIFA sponsor. Mm. They, they will just see the, the LED on the, on the, in the stadium, right? So consider in this, uh, I think that uh, it's not easy for these people. Actually, you can even take it in a very opportunistic way. Like, listen, I mean, I, I'll try to put clauses in uh, because I don't want to, to go through this in the future. But if your contract still running, I think you can, you have to stay calm because at the end of the day, what counts is that there are matches with huge audience globally where your brand is, is, is in and not necessarily that consumers will realize that you are attached to FIFA brand or, or something like that, right? So it's interesting what you say. Obviously, then, if you have a World Cup, if it, if it stays in Russia, for example, the you know the next World Cup in 2018, if tickets were made available, probably fans would still buy tickets. They'd still go to games. And if McDonald's, for example, there are other sponsors, of course, were still attached to FIFA, people are still going to go to McDonald's and buy burgers and buy buy chips. So things aren't necessarily gonna gonna change does it need a sponsor to make a big stand to try and change FIFA and try and change that the mood in global football for better well I would say that as long as FIFA has the capacity to put together the best and, and and obviously FIFA is more things than the World Cup but if we just focus yeah. on the World Cup as long as FIFA has the capacity to put together the best teams participating with the best players in a way that the quality of the games is not at risk, I would say consumers would not really care that much. Mm. Obviously, I'm not saying it's, import it's not important. We need to keep in mind that, uh, that one-third of FIFA revenues come from sponsorships. So mm. that makes, that's around $400 million per year. So that it would hurt FIFA? It would hurt FIFA if, if, if a sponsor were to, of to course. pull out and severely? Yeah, yeah, of course. And we've seen, even before what's happening now, we've seen big companies such as Sony, such as Emirates, that decided to stop the sponsorship. I'm not saying it's linked to corruption. Maybe some it, it has to do with some business reasons, but obviously you cannot ignore these things and, and, and you have to, to take them very seriously. But at the end of the day, uh, I would tend to think that, again, when we talk about a brand that's trying to communicate to consumers, uh, as long as the audiences do, do, do not fail, your brand is going to be in the stadium and, and it's going to get a, a return in advertisement. Uh, and just a, a word about your, your time at, at Barcelona, three years after you left, uh, they signed a, a sponsorship deal with uh, Qatar. Um, they've obviously faced negative headlines uh, in the, um, the build-up to the 2022 uh, World Cup for, for various different reasons. Uh, does that come into a, a club's thinking on, on who they want to, to go with from a, from a club perspective rather than FIFA? 
Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm not part of the club anymore, but uh, as far as I know what's happening now, actually there's an election this summer that will, that will, uh, that will decide the, the president and the board for the next six years. The current board has said that uh, their intention uh, is to, put, uh, to bring a new deal to the assembly sometime in November, because that's the time when you have to communicate to your technical sponsor the brand that will display on the, on the shirts, right? Actually, the, the Qatar uh, agreement finalizes precisely next season and as far as I know and as long as it's been communicated uh, by the president of the of the club the intention is to keep on looking for sponsors and then go to the assembly in November and propose uh, the best alternative for the for the for the members to decide so potential change at Barcelona potential change at FIFA it's been intriguing to speak to you Esteve thank you very much for your time thank you pleasure